Once you guys today we're taking a look at how to update your Asus BIOS from a USB flash drive. First, head over to the motherboard manufacturer and download your BIOS version. So what we're going to do here is get the very latest BIOS for this Rogstrix B650E-I gaming Wi-Fi motherboard BIOS. So we're going to download this one here. So we're going to download the tool as well. It comes in the kit, which is called the BIOS renamer, and it needs to be renamed a certain name. So the tool will do this for us. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So now we've got the actual BIOS downloaded. We're going to need to prep the USB flash drive and follow the on-screen uh, instructions here to rename the actual file. So I've got a USB flash drive plugged into my computer here. We're going to right click on it and go format. And we need to format this to FAT32. So choose FAT32 here. You can give it a name if you wish. Click OK. And this will erase all of the data on that USB flash drive. And also it will make the drive FAT32. That's important because we need to make this recognizable for the computer inside the BIOS. What we're going to do is open up our file that we just downloaded here. This is our BIOS file. We're going to drag both of these onto our USB flash drive. This is the BIOS renaming tool and also the actual BIOS itself. So the BIOS file is not actually renamed correctly. So we're going to click on the BIOS renamer.exe and this will rename the file to the correct name. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to quickly click on this. A little prompt box will open up here and we can push continue. You can see here it's going to name it the correct name, which is the .cat file. So we need to do that here. And your version might be different to mine, but it will do it automatically for us right here. As you can see, it's been renamed. Now you can uh, remove the BIOS renaming tool if you wish. I'm just going to leave that on there for now. And what we're going to do next is we're just going to expand this here so I can see here. And what we need to do is drag that file onto our USB flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag this over here and just straighten these up. And what we'll do is we'll grab that file and we'll just drag it into this location here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. And that will copy the file over. What we need to do now is boot into the BIOS and this file will be recognized once we get into the BIOS. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you need to uh, keep tapping on the correct key to enter the BIOS. This will be either the delete key or F2. Now we need to click on the ASUS Easy Flash Free Utility here. And once we do this, you will be able to see uh, the file has been recognized here and you can see it on the screen right here. So what we need to do here is we're going to flash our actual BIOS with this file. So we're going to select the actual file here, which is this one right here. And once we select this, this will give us the option to flash the BIOS. Now, if you do have BitLocker enabled, you need to follow the on-screen display and basically disable all of that as well. But I don't have BitLocker enabled on this system, so I'm okay to click yes here. And we're going to go ahead and say, did you read the file? I'm going to say, yes, I did. And we're going to click yes. And this will go ahead and start to uh, give us the option to flash our BIOS. So you can see here, it says, do you really want to update your BIOS? Or of course we do, that's why we downloaded the file. So we're gonna go ahead and let that go through the motions. It does take a bit of time. Just leave the keyboard alone here. You don't have to press delete or F2. It will automatically go in back into the BIOS and it will start processing our BIOS update here. You can see it's starting to do it already. And there you go, it's processing down the bottom. Just be patient and let it do its thing does take a bit of time, but once this is done, it will say update successfully. System will restart. So what we need to do here is click OK. And what you'll see here is don't touch the computer at all here at this stage. You will get a little black screen coming up saying BIOS is updating. Do not shut down or restart your system to prevent system uh, boot up failure. Just leave it do its thing. It does take a bit of time, but once it's done, it should restart and then basically boot back into uh, Windows. So we're just going to let that finish. You should see something looking like this. What we need to do here is press enter to set up to the recovery BIOS settings and uh, it will take us back in here. And now we can see that our BIOS has been updated to the very latest version. And you can see that at the very top of the screen right there. And uh, we do have the latest version on this BIOS here. So yeah, that's it. That's basically how you can update all your BIOS. All your settings will be reset. So if you've got XMP, or any of these settings that you want to re-enable on your motherboard, you will need to go through and re-enable all of these. If you're under vaulting or anything like that, all of these settings will be reset back to default settings. So bear that in mind. And I'll go through and 
make all my changes in the BIOS after this video. But basically, if you want to check to see whether it's gone through OK, you can check the details of the actual uh, motherboard itself and the BIOS here. Let me just show you here on the main. And you can see here that it has been updated recently and we have got the latest version uh, flashed and updated on this motherboard. So hopefully this one helps you out. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier three, tier two or tier one. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again. Bye for now.